Justice with Judge Maybelline will be life because in everything we do, it involves the law. You came to court to testify about what you heard, what you saw, and what you know. She's fair. I don't have a hearing problem. This ear works good, this one works even better. She's firm. I'm not responsible for that ticket and I'm not gonna pay for it. Who says you're not gonna pay for it? I make that decision, not you. She's honest. What you have to say? All I have to Nothing. say. <laughs> this is Justice with Judge Maybelline. Cody Bowler is suing Pamela Gardner in the amount of $2,000. Mr. Bowler claims Ms. Gardner punched him several times while he was working at a haunted house. Ms. Gardner says Mr. Bowler did more than just scare her and claims she was defending herself after the plaintiff touched her inappropriately. In the matter of Cody Bowler versus, er I mean, Pamela Gardner, you're suing for $2,000. Um, and Eric Thompson is your witness. You claim that he assaulted you at the haunted house. Yes. You said it was just part of the job. Tell me about it, Mr. Bowler. So, Your Honor, um, I'm a professional scarecter at this haunted house called uh, Zombie Motel. Um, I've been a scarecter for several years now. And, a scarecter? Uh, scarecter, yeah. Oh, scare, scare character. actor. Scare oh. actor, scare character, either one okay. works, yeah. And basically, uh, what she's accusing me of is, is ridiculous. Uh, so the... tell me what happened. So I don't know what she's accusing you of. I read it, but let me hear it from you. Right. So basically, um, when I'm working in the haunt, uh, it's dark. There's a lot of strobe lights. My job is to kind of, you know, obviously scare them, but I also have to keep, you know, the flow of the people going. So what happened was... Um, I was doing my usual routine, scaring everybody, kind of being creepy, and I lurked into the corner and I got down really low. And so what happened was when I came up out of the, out of the dark, uh, this young lady was uh, rather close to where I was and I grazed her, her behind. Grabbed. And you grabbed it. She I, seems let to him think, tell me. She seems to think that it was some sort of sexual harassment or that I'm some sort of predator. And I just think that that's ridiculous. And it's just her so reaction So then what was, happened? Well, then what happened was she, she reacted and she punched me. But she didn't just punch me once. She punched me three times. Okay, show me how you stoop down so, in the darkness as she comes around the corner. Right. So when the, when the, when the people are coming in the entrance, I will start at the one at, towards the exit and I'll work my way around. I'll be really creepy and kind of like get in there. And then you're a creep. once I get into the corner where it's dark, I get really low and it really, you know, it, it, it gets them when, you know, I'm 6'4". So when I jump up, you know, it creates So you jump this, up in their face? Jump up in their face, of course, yeah. So then how do you touch her behind? Thank you. Well, Thank because you. she was a little close to me and normally... Okay, but then you jump from the front or from the back. Well, because the point of what we're supposed okay, to Will. do... Okay, Will. He's lying. Will, go over there to that corner. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You be the creep okay. that you are. Thank you. The scare actor. <laughs> right. Will's walking past. Now, he needs to walk past this way. So he, um, if he can walk past this way, that'll work. Okay, so, uh, walk past like, this way slowly. If he's entering the room uh -huh. and I'm starting over here and I'm scaring him, once he gets past here, so I'll, I'll kind of work around... And now I'm behind him, and I need to get him out of the room. I need to keep the flow of the people going. Okay, so, so he keeps moving. If I'm all the way in the corner, mm -hmm. and he's right there, and I come up, and I guess I must have grazed him in some way. Oh, or grazed so you did come behind way. her. Didn't right. Me. Okay, that was, I thought you, I thought you scared them frontward. Well, so part of my job is to scare them out of my room and into the next one. We got to keep the flow of people going. There's so as you scare them, they turn around and slap you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Now you are the witness. You're his witness because you work at the haunted house or you're one of the persons who was a patron? I own the... Oh, you own. Yeah. Okay. What do you have to say, Ms. Gardner? Give me your explanation. I was there with a few friends. I am so excited to be at this haunted ho motel. I had heard about it. Halloween is my favorite, absolute favorite holiday. And so I expected to be scared. I went there to be scared. I did not go there to be assaulted. I did not go there to be sexually assaulted. I am a grown woman. I know what a butt grab feels like. This man did not graze me. I'm 5'8", he's 6'4". How does his hands go from up here when he's, if he, from here, if he's up here? It doesn't make sense to me. 
So maybe he was looking at you because he could look at you and tell that you were an easy person to scare. And he's like, that's my next victim. Because I know she's easy to scare, I can tell. Well, scare me, absolutely fine. But don't touch me. It is against the rules. And, and if you're when he been touched you, what so did you do? When he touched me, I immediately reacted. I felt like I was being assaulted. I didn't know what was going to come next. Coming up on Justice with Judge Maybelline. Ooh! You were that's fighting. What he, no, that's, that's his makeup. That's what he looked like on the day of. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, girl, you need to be the heavyweight champion. And later. Your contention is somebody broke into the garage because he didn't fix the gate and he's at fault. He just a lousy landlord. He never does anything around the building. Justice with Judge Maybelline. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Cody Bowler, who is suing Pamela Gardner for medical expenses. So you hit him? Natural yes, I reaction. turned around, I turned around, natural reaction was, I hit him, you know? You hear all of these stories. So you had to reach up to hit him? I have very long arms, I'm 5'8", you didn't have to reach up that high. His mm -hmm. nose is kind of big, it wasn't that hard. And then after you hit him, what happened? After I hit him, I snapped back to reality and I stepped back. He was backing up, it was done. You didn't hit him again? Well, I don't know how many times I hit him. Oh, you don't know how many times you hit him? He you says lost it. Yeah. I was reacting. I, I was, said, did, you, I was did you lose it? Were you just angry and just kept punching? I punched until you were I felt. I, I punched until I felt safe. Okay. Let me hear from you, Mr. Thompson. Uh, so I, I own the Zombie Motel. I've been working with Cody for on and off six years now. We have never had any complaints about Cody. This is the first time. Okay, that so what I, happened this time? Were you there? I was in my office, uh, and when I heard everything going on outside, a couple of the other actors came up to me, up to the office, and told me what was going on. And when I went down, I saw Cody on the ground, bleeding from his nose, and she was being restrained by her friends. And bleeding the from his nose? Yeah. She broke my nose. Yeah. Broke it? Yeah. yeah. You have a medical record for that? I believe so, yeah. Let me see. Wow. What you have on? Two rings, ten rings, what? <laughs> Your Honor, he's claiming that there are no other prior incidences, that nobody else has ever complained. I have reviews Well, here I can tell you there. that, that that doesn't matter to me. Because, uh, woo! Yeah. <laughs> Two thousand, ooh! You were that's fighting. What he, no, that's, that's his makeup. That's what he looked like on the day of. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please tell me. I was like, girl, you need to be the heavyweight champion. No, that's, that's what he looked like on the day of. And oh, as you can okay. tell, you can't even, you, are you sure that the other photo isn't makeup as well? Come no, that's on. a broken nose. And I have a medical bill here that says St. John's Hospital, $2,000 for non-surgical broken nose. This is off you all. Do not touch the actors, customers, or props. Yeah, we all know that. No horseplay. It includes punching. So you say, I accidentally touched her. I did not grope her. You say he groped my behind. <laughs> yeah. I know when somebody's trying to do a grab and feel, right? Absolutely. Okay. You have insurance? Yes. Why is this a worker's comp claim? Why are you bringing it to me? because we make her sign a waiver. She knows she cannot touch my employees. He knows that I am. You can't make anybody sign a waiver against self-defense or against feeling that they're being assaulted. There's no Thank such you. thing as a waiver against assault. Well, I don't believe he assaulted her. I, I know that's that what you don't believe, but if your employee got hurt on the job, why didn't you turn it over to workers' comp? Because he didn't get hurt because of something that happened on the job. He got he hurt, because get hurt because he did. of something that happened on the job. He's an actor, he's working, she's a customer, she hit him. What are you talking about? Did you get hurt because of something that happened on the job? Weren't you at work? Mm -hmm. Do you get paid for this job? Yes. So that to me is a clear worker's comp. Now it can't not be any more than in the court. You said it's a risk you take doing that work. It's no different than him getting shot at work as a police officer. You even said or people you have need to be quiet. You. I didn't ask you to help me. I'm sorry. I apologize, Your Honor. Now you got a little hot temper too. 
I apologize. Yes, she does. And I haven't gotten back to you yet. So don't yes, get ma'am. too comfortable. Yes, ma'am. Because this thing can turn, and it may not go the way you think it should. Yes, okay? I, let's assume that you thought you were being assaulted. Yes. And let's assume that you hit him first, knocked him back one time. Now, there's a such thing as excessive force. You're only allowed in self-defense to use the force which is necessary to get rid of the assaultive behavior. Once you hit him and he went back like that, he's not hitting you again. He's not touching you again. He has nowhere near your behind now because you've knocked him backwards. I didn't see him knock back because he was still in my... I didn't he, step he was, forward. He was I... not touching you anymore. You hit him, he was gone. He was not touching you anymore. You lost it by your own testimony. That's what you said. Now, I, I, I am the first person to say to any woman who has been assaulted or believes that you have been assaulted to get the assaulter off of you and do what you have to do. But still, the law doesn't allow you, just because it's male versus female, to kill somebody or to break their nose because they touch your behind, all right? Plus, it's not unreasonable for me to believe that it was accidental and not as you have described that he was trying to, as we say, cop a feel, okay? Uh, but even so, it was a little excessive. So because of the excess force that was used on your part, I'm going to order you to pay a portion of his medical expenses. I'm going to order the plaintiff to file a claim under workers' comp. Whatever portion they don't pay, then she has to pay the difference. Judgment for the plaintiff. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay anything workers' comp does not cover. In the future, you should learn what workers' comp is for and stop trying to sue outside parties. I just hope that you learn something from this and that next time you're at a haunted house, you won't be so aggressive. Coming up. Your contention is somebody broke into the garage because he didn't fix the gate and he's at fault. He just a lousy landlord. He never does anything around the building. Justice with Judge Maybelline. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. Ashley Testa is suing Randall Smith in the amount of $1,000. Ms. Testa claims her landlord failed to secure a broken gate in the parking garage and says her car was broken into as a result. Mr. Smith claims he put caution tape around the broken gate and says he's not liable for theft in the garage. Ashley Testa versus Randall Smith. You want him to pay you $1,000 for damages done to your vehicle? was parked in his underground parking lot where yes, you live. Yes, Your Honor. The gate was hit by a car and damaged, and they left an opening there so anybody could come in and out. And a few days later, my car got broken into and my radio got stolen. So you started in the middle, so I'm going to go back to the beginning. You live in an apartment complex owned by the defendant. Correct. A few days before something was stolen out of your car, someone hit the a gate? A few days later, before the gate was hit by a car and damaged, uh, someone broke into my car and stole my radio. Did they smash the window? Did they smashed the window, yes. And stole your stereo? Correct. I have evidence for all of it. Well, the only time I need evidence is if somebody is, is disputing. Are you disputing? Did you show him that your window was smashed? I told the landlord, yes, and I made a police report, and okay. the landlord didn't care. He said my insurance should pay for it, that it's not his responsibility, but he should have fixed the gate. He didn't do anything. He just put caution tape over it. Do you have insurance? Yes, I do. Did you turn it in? Yes, I did. Did they pay for it? Yes, I had to pay $1,000 out of pocket, which is unfair. May I have that sure. proof? What you have to say, Mr. Smith, and no, and your contention is, Somebody broke into the garage because he didn't fix the gate and he's at fault. He just a lousy landlord. He never does anything around the building. Mr. Smith, what's your contention? Hey, Judge, how are you doing? Hey, Judge, so, how are you doing? It's unfortunate what happened Wait to a her car. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Get to be a little bit too familiar. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Your Honor. How are you? How are you? Your Honor's fine. How are you, Mr. Smith? I am amazing. All right. Now I don't know why that. I'm here, though. I should not be here, Your Honor. It's unfortunate what happened to Ms. Testa's um, car, but it's not my issue. Coming up, 
He should have fixed the gate. Are you, are you going to keep saying he should have fixed the gate and singing that song? <laughs> okay, let's make it a song. He should have fixed the gate. He should have fixed the gate. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Ashley Testa, who is suing Randall Smith for negligence. Okay, it's an apartment complex that has uh, one of those sliding gates underground. It's, it's underground and the gate slides open and you go in and park the car, right? Yes. Okay, and when was it that gate damaged? The gate was probably damaged maybe like two, three months ago. Um, a drunk driver ran into the gate, so we had an issue closing it. But we have two entrances to our, um, to our complex. So I closed that gate with some um, caution tape and a sign just to let people know that it can't be used until we can get it fixed. So the gate so doesn't using, come open? It op it's open now, Your Honor. But no, at the no, time, no. At it the wasn't time, open. the gate was not opening. No, it wouldn't open. OK. But the other gate was that you could come just in. Fine, the second entrance was being open. Yes. Your Honor, and I can't park all the way on the Excuse other side. Excuse me. OK, I'm sorry, Your Didn't Honor. you have your turn? I'm sorry, yes. You should have told me all that when you were talking. OK, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you put a sign up there, caution. And all of the tenants now are using the opposite gate. Yes, Your Honor. Come on, Miss. What else do you have to say, Miss Testa? If he would have fixed the gate on time, my stereo would have got stolen. You don't know that. There's no such thing as fix the gate on time, and your stereo wouldn't have got but stolen. But that's the time when it happened. P people's get people stuff gets stolen out of underground parking lots every day. Of Your Honor, the not week. when the gate is is broken. I'm gonna put it like this: the landlord is not responsible for criminal behavior and criminal acts of another human being. But he should have fixed the gate. Are you, are you going to keep saying he should have fixed the gate and singing that song? <laughs> okay, let's make it a song. He should have fixed the gate. He should have fixed the gate. No, it's not. He should have as a okay, responsible that's landlord. You, that's what you feel. Judge Maybelline's verdict when justice with Judge Maybelline returns. Promotional consideration provided by... You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. The act was a criminal act. People in the same apartment building break into folks' cars and steal with the gates closed. People in gated mm -hmm. communities. I don't believe well, that. Well, you got a guard at the front and you got to show ID and all of that get things stolen from their car. There are thieves in the world. But it's more of a risk. It's more of a risk. If somebody sees a gate open, they're going to go in. They're going to see what they find. Do you know what? Sometimes they go in right after you open it to go under. Sometimes they follow you right under there. He just shouldn't be a landlord. He's young, irresponsible. He's a creep. When I go do laundry, he's always staring at me. I feel harassed by him. You know what? I think you should move. I will move. Okay. After I get my money, I will move. You're not going to get any money. Judgment for the defendant. All rise. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I should have been fully reimbursed, and I can't wait to move out. Clearly wasn't liable for the car damage. That's what you got car insurance for. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.